Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We do a lot of smartwatch reviews here, as I'm sure you know, and many of the newest uh, devices are health focused. They include the ability to check electrocardiograms, ECGs, or EKG. You see it both ways. Same thing, one's a German spelling. They also claim to do blood pressure readings. Yep, and they do blood oxygen as well. And you'll always hear me say, check it against a calibrated source to make sure the accuracy is on par with what you expect. Well, how many of you have a calibrated device? You will after today. Welcome back to WellU. WellU is a company that's produced all of these devices. They're wearables and that, well, they, that they fit into the channel, right? Uh, and they are the best of the best. And I'm going to talk about them briefly for you and also show you some excerpts of some of the reviews I've done. The company is WellU. And if you use this link, GoWellU.com, you'll get an automatic 15% discount that I negotiated with them. That's not their normal address. Usually it's get well you, uh -huh. but we use go well you. So go well you.com is exactly the same, goes to the same place, except it comes along with a 15% discount. So tweet it out to your friends, go well you.com. That's the address, got the discount. Also, this is the link uh, tinyurl.com, well you reviews that you can see any of the reviews of the devices that I'm showing you today and a bunch more that I'm not highlighting in this particular review. So what are we going to do? We're going to break this down into categories. We have basic blood pressure cuff type stuff to get really sophisticated honest readings out of a cuff type system like you would in your doctor's office or hospital. We have ECG, EKG, belt strap things you wear that give you a real ECG chart uh, and can run yeah, some of them up to 24 hours so you can wear it looking for anomalies. We also have a jack of all trades device that does ECG and uh, heart rate and uh, you name it. Some even have temperature in it. But we're going to begin today with this little jewel. After COVID, one of the most important things we look at is blood oxygen and whether or not you have enough going on, especially if you've contracted the virus and are having lung problems with breathing. So this little puppy here is called the O2 ring and it is really really sweet uh, what i'm going to do now is show you like a trailer just little excerpts from the original review of the o2 ring and then we'll move on we're going to unbox the well you o2 ring wearable oxygen monitor one side is a little receiver the other side is a little light you see a little red glow in there barely now i use my index finger because it works well there's a little red glow there the red uh, light is always, always on. It doesn't come on and go off. and it's, it's always on. And you'll see when you look at the app why. On the other side is the sensor. And right here, it's pulsing right now. And you see the double lines? That means it's acquiring my blood oxygen at 98%, my heart rate at 74 and it alternates back and forth between those. Here's last night's, re literally last night's reading with the ring. And it's Primary focus is on blood oxygen, heart rate, and motion laying in bed. Doesn't go anywhere other than that. These little tick marks down here are the times when it vibrated the ring to wake me up, letting me know that there was an issue going on. So I can zoom in on any of these areas. Look what happened to me now. I was getting my good blood oxygen, then it started to get a little bit low, and then boom, I had a, a dip. Bing, it will rang the, the ring, and that jolted me enough up that uh, I started breathing, I guess, again, and so forth, and then another major one, and so forth, and there was a whole series of wake-up uh, notification attempts happening uh, around 11-something or other. Now that's all the stuff related to blood oxygen. You also can set heart rate maximum and minimums and you'll get little markings here if you are dinged on the uh, ring and it vibrates because you exceeded 
a threshold above or below. But now there's more fun. You see down here, I've got dashboard settings and discover. If I go to dashboard, this is live, folks. This is my, the live readings on my uh, device. Again, that device, you wear it on your finger, is the O2 ring. But they've got more advanced systems that they've come up with recently. This one's a combination of finger for the probe and a little thing you wear around your wrist with the unit uh, right on your wrist. I'm kind of getting close to a smartwatch now. This will do the same kind of thing with transmitted to your app and to a computer screen. And it is called the Sleep You. You wear this while you're sleeping to monitor your oxygen levels just like you would with the ring take it another notch higher and you're into this thing called the check me o2 max it's a wrist oxygen monitor same basic concept same type of stuff you'll see on the app and it does all of these things as well now that's all about adults but new for 2022 we've got the same kind of goodie for kids that's right look at this it's called the kids o2 child oxygen monitor it's available and in addition you got this fun little goodie you can keep your eye on your baby's sleep so we've got children covered We've got infants covered in doing blood oxygen. Again, check the show notes for the link. Head on over, pick these up, and you can get yourself a discount on them just applying ticks at checkout. However, if you don't have a baby yet, now there's no discount, unfortunately, on these, but they're super low price. Again, GoWellU.com. We've got Doppler monitors. This is where you use this instrument and you can palpate, I think is the right word, the abdomen, and pick up the child's heartbeat and have that information available. All for about $45. There's a little bit um, more sophisticated unit like this called the Baby Tone Fetal Heart Tracker. And it's got coupling gel and whatnot. Again, it's got a little instrument attached to a... Uh, unit that you can read on or you can of course tether it to the app and finally the top of the line is very similar um, in what it does except it's all condensed these two things into one unit where the readout is right on the back makes it a lot easier once you get it aligned to be able to see what you're reading and of course that fetal uh, signal can be transmitted to the app as well. All three of those units are available. Again, go wellu.com. So let's switch to a new category. So what about blood pressure? Ah, yeah, that's what we really want to focus on. And it's one of the hardest things for smartwatches to get right. I wanted to show you one of the most advanced, newest cuffs on the market that not only will give you a solid reading of your blood pressure automatically and remotely as well as on the screen here but it can also perform ECG analysis as well. The plates on either end are what you use for ECG and I can collect it directly from here. If I wanted to do blood pressure I would press the start button. If I want to do ECG or look at the history I would press here. So I want to do an ECG. I'm going to press it. I touch here and here and all of a sudden right on the screen of this device you start seeing the heart wave show up and there's a little thermometer bar below it that is accumulating time. It's about a 30 second test and it shows you your ECG derived heart rate next to it. And I'm beating it about 74, 75 right now. We'll let this complete. And then I want to show you what it does over on the uh, phone app. Okay. It gives you your height ratio at the beginning and the overall chart. And I touch it and I can make it bigger. I touch it again, I can make it really small. So it has three different ranges of display. And I can tap here and make it really large. But it should pump up to about 200, maybe a little lower. I hear the motor going, I don't know if you do. It's getting tight. Yeah. Okay, went to about 190. The flashing heart is the uh, heart rate it's picking up, the beats. It's letting the air out automatically. 
It's not showing me a heart rate on the display, just the current pressure. And taking a while, a little longer than um, mechanical ones. There, okay. Oh yeah, 154 over 102 with a heart rate of 77. That's excessive, and um, I don't buy it. I think it's simply because it's in the wrong position for me. And here we go. When I tap on it now, I get a chart that's showing where it is and uh, the value with the heart uh, pulse rate and map pulse pressure. And uh, I'm in, in slightly in the red zone on this one. I could write a note. I could change the name of it. I could throw it away and I can export it. And any of these, here's some earlier ones when I really was relaxed, uh, way down in the green zone. And last thing, um, it said for history, hold this for two time or two seconds. And here you go. I've got next, there's the cur most current reading. And then there was the ECG that I did before that. We did that on, oh, look at that. And it even plays it for you. I have nine total readings in here. There's an earlier blood pressure. We showed you that. Here's an earlier ECG that I did. And that's what that waveform looks like. GoLU.com will get you there and get you a 15% uh, discount. It's designed for measuring blood pressure and handling ECG and being able to integrate those and transfer them over to a phone app and, of course, from there to your doctor if you need to. Just in case you don't need the full-on sophistication of a uh, blood pressure cuff with ECG and everything else, but you still want wireless capability to be able to uh, transmit the values that you get from a simple old-fashioned style reading. There's a release valve here we'll use here in a second at the end and uh, just hit the start. Start pumping. There's a lady's voice, comes on, guides you through this. We pump up to over 200 and then we sit silently while it counts down. You'll see the Pumping. heart wave right down here at the bottom as it starts to read it and that'll start vibrating. There you go. And <laughs> I'm definitely not in the right position for doing this. Released it by just pressing here. I uh, got an insane, incorrect blood pressure. When I do this properly, I sit and I do it um, three times at the table quietly to get a really good baseline uh heart rate, uh, blood pressure. My beats per minute is over here, systolic, diastolic. I'm definitely in the bad zone, it says, but I'm not really. I will be checking it officially after this to confirm that. You can go over here to history. This is a typical reading. This is what I did earlier, and uh, yeah, I'm in the yellow zone there. So you have a history, and if you get a bogus one that you don't believe is correct, you can just throw it away. Yep. The Wellu Air BP, the basic uh, blood pressure cuff, and the smart blood pressure monitor with EKG or ECG. You can get it uh, without it if you want to and have this unit on your arm for only 10 bucks more than the basic cuff. Again, Bluetooth transmission and all your data stored and visible on the screen. Or you can add the ECG for a little bit more and of course have all that capability as well. Cool, huh? Well, there's even more. You take your cuff, you combine it now with blood oxygen, continuous reading of blood oxygen, so you could wear it and have it on your finger and then do your blood pressure reading all for about 150 bucks. They're really trying to nail down the two most important things that you need to monitor while you're uh, evaluating uh, COVID recovery. It's called the Check Me Light. Viatom is a company and it's marketed to us from Wellu, who has brought us all the other good stuff here. Pulse, ECG, heart rate, health tracker. Let's do the ECG recording. Lead one, step one to me is the easiest one to do. You have a plate in the back, a plate here, and you're going to pinch these puppies. And uh, as soon as you touch it to your hand right here in lead one, it's going to go. And when it does, Oh, it's actually talking to me right there. It was telling me what to do, but the volume was really low. 
The heart wave, uh, if any of you are trained in that, looks irregular. Um, granted, okay, my QRS is 98 milliseconds, and it's not going to tell me what is irregular on it. It's just going to say it's irregular. Parameters, heart rate should be here. QRS interval should be there. Um, there is the date and time, and I could come back and look at it at any time, or I could throw it away, or I can replay it again. Get back to the front, and now we do the uh, blood oxygen. I insert my finger in the system, in the sensor. That's easy. For, for me, the relaxed part is hard. Now, if you notice, there's a red diode at the top, and it appears to be shining through my finger, and it's getting the and it's beeping as well. And we're getting a totally different kind of waveform there. I'm getting pulse off of this one as well, but it's primarily analyzing and giving me my blood oxygen, which I also expect to be a bit low because I'm rhythmic breathing right now and not deeply. So I got low blood oxygen. Daily check is a quick thing that lets me do all at once as long as I stick my finger in here I hold the plates like this, and I touch that to my hand, and I go, oh, there we go. Heart wave at the top, blood oxygen down below, pulse in the lower right-hand corner, percentage at 97 of my blood oxygen, I presume, and the orange bar showing me the time duration of the 30, 20 second analysis. And I got normal blood oxygen this time, and I got an irregular ECG rhythm here, and it's available for playback anytime right here. So now you've seen the data on the device, how about moving the data off the device? Well, three different ways at least for doing that to uh, an Android app, to a PC, or to a Macintosh. Tap this button, and there I am. I got my ECG chart, and what's really cool, uh, this is saying it's an irregular rhythm, and this is the one with those fancy uh, double uh, peaks that I was getting, well, which is interesting. I can take this square, I can move it, I can put it down here, for example, double tap it, and it's gonna bring me right into the chart at that location so we could do a deeper analysis of all of this. So I've got the daily checks here. I can come in here and I can go to a separate ECG recorder, and there's a chart from that, or I can go if I've done separate pulse oximeter readings and you get the data right on the screen from within the app. That's the Android app. So our final category I wanna talk about is the uh, strap on, or actually strap less, ECG monitoring devices. These things are amazing. This one, very flexible. You can hold it and get an ECG. You can strap it on and get it. Or as they're trying to uh, promote it, uh, you can wear it with just little suction tabs on your body and get an ECG strapless. Yeah, strap free, not strapless. It's a big difference. Get in trouble if I try to do strapless on this channel. A strap-free heart rate monitor, uh, about $69 or so. And uh, this is the basic unit. And then there's a much more advanced, very similar looking, it's black instead of white, 24-hour cardiac monitor. So as you watch this little snippet of the first one, remember we've got the second one that also does an artificial intelligence interpretation of your whole 24-hour chart. And if something happened at 3.02 in the morning, it'll let you know. Really advanced. Wow. Okay, this is the right. So when you put it on with this facing out, does that make sense? Holding it on you, this will be on the right-hand side. Here's where it's going to snap into stuff that's probably in the box. Let's see what else is in here. We have got the strap itself in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This should just simply snap on here and snap on here. Okay, it would be right like that. This will make contact with your body and... 
you're good to go. Once you've got it charged up, just adjust the band. Wow, okay, you have got a bag full of these connectors. And my presumption is on these, correct me if I'm wrong, will you? Uh, because I can use the strap directly, there's nothing to attach here. If instead I wanna put these things on and attach this directly to my body under my left nipple, I think is generally where you do it. We'll see if there's a picture for that. You put a couple of these on, peel it off, stick it on. And I guess you could use it a couple of times until the sticky goes away and then you just throw them away and you can use plenty, plenty more. It just comes with a bunch of them in the bag. Upon first opening and later I'll go back and start it over and show you how easy it is to connect. Upon first starting it, you get it connected. Now look at all of this. It's bringing in last night's uh, readings because I wore it to bed last night. And this is all the stuff I messed around with yesterday. This is uh, five hours, almost six hours worth of time wearing it last night. And uh, this is the heart rate chart that I get for that whole session. So I was a bit wrong when I told you that it's like 30 minutes per session. You can literally wear the thing all night. And what's fun is you can expand this thing out and it's telling you the time into the process, not the, the clock time, but that uh, this was four hours and some odd minutes into when I started this. I don't believe it's 4 a.m. I don't think it's tracking a clock. But you can go in and mess around with this and zoom in on different peaks. That is uh, this type of a chart, which are these uh, archived uh, session uh, diagrams. Then you have these other kind here like this that have a little uh, squiggle on it, a heart rate like squiggle. And I'll just show you that one quickly. When I come in here, these are the actual ECG charts. This is a recording and these are every minute. And this was a seven minute test. So my first one, and I, I called it climbing stairs because that's what I did to test it out. It shows you the heart rate. Uh, from the ECG, and I believe was up along minute five, six. Yeah, here we go. I'm average heart rate was 99 on um, the fifth uh, minute. Now let's uh, take that one a little bit further, spread apart. If I touch it, I can expand it really big so that you can kind of see a little bit more of the fine stuff. If I touch it again, it goes down to a really small chart. So you have three levels: one. Two is the average one, and then three of amplification. It gets real noisy here because they're too close together. But uh, if you just want to get an overall feel for it, you've got it right there. So that's the analysis when you do one like this. I can hit that magnifying glass and get you a really nice chart. When I go to the dashboard, here's where it gets fun. Now, it live is recording uh, or is bringing in the data uh, happening in my uh, chest right at the moment. This is the heart rate as calculated by the distance between the peaks divided by time and averaged out. It's showing me in the green zone my targets, which are settable, um, uh, 120 and 150. If I'm above that, the band will vibrate lightly and I'll know I've entered my training zone, for example. If it goes above 150, it'll vibrate loudly or strongly. Uh, this will change colors and then I know I'm in my anaerobic zone if I've set it for that. Okay, I got about 41 seconds. I'm gonna hit stop, it's saving it. And it's transmitting that from the band, I guess, back here, or maybe it already had it. Go back to history and here's what we just recorded right here on the chart. I can turn it sideways, I can magnify it, I can add a note, I can send it out as a PDF. All of those things are capable. So there you go, guys, whether it's for you, for a family member, a holiday gift, or um, just something you'd like to have in your inventory along with a thermometer you keep in the medicine chest. These are the products that you'll go to for actual reference data oxygen monitors, ECG monitors, and more. And using the link GoWellU.com, you'll get 15% discount when you put your stuff in your uh, shopping cart and check out. Any of these you want to see the reviews of? 
We got them for you. This is a full playlist. So just look through the list of the device you want. There's little thumbnails in the description. tinyurl.com slash wellyoureviews. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are moving fast into the holiday season, and they do recommend shopping early, which is why we're putting this up at the beginning of November instead of around Black Friday. And I hope you'll be able to take advantage of some of these great offers. We'll see you again soon.